What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today, this is going to be an interesting discussion. So, I have never heard of this YouTuber until today. Um, this is Shoe on Head. Um, so, I'm seeing this on my feed. So, she makes a video going against the arguments about the Arthur pushes uh, the gay agenda narrative that a lot of people on uh, my side of the argument have been talking about. And she features the amazing Lucas, who I'm a big fan of his channel. Uh, she talks about One Angry Gamer. I'm a fan of that website, and I tend to generally agree with what a lot of those guys say. Um, but what happened here is uh, she makes this video in response. So it's uh, my pro-LGBT video responding to idiots freaking out about a gay character in TV shows. Apparently hate speech. Uh, I am so done with this hell site. Happy Pride Month at Team YouTube. So here it is. Uh, thank you for submitting your video appeal to YouTube. After further review of the content, we determined that your video does violate our community guidelines and have upheld our original decision. I've watched the video. How did they come to this conclusion? Now, apparently the video has been put up now. Because why? Because why? Because the only way to really get YouTube to respond is to raise enough hell on Twitter. That has been the, the only solid way to get YouTube to respond from what I've seen. Now, fair enough to YouTube. When I had my situation where money was stolen, stolen out of my AdSense account, YouTube, after about a month of me pestering them every day, they finally got my situation figured out, and I didn't do it through Twitter. But generally speaking, when you have a problem with a video, whether it's demonetized, your channel gets demonetized, video gets taken down, if you scream loud enough on Twitter and you have a big enough following, you can usually get them to respond. My point here is, this is Carlos Maza's YouTube right here, where words are controlled, words are mean, and they are totally subjective. Now, I have watched her video. This is her video. Um, again, she's a big YouTuber. 1.2 million subs. Uh, this I, I'm assuming this is the video in question because I went to her channel. I don't see any updates from her on her Twitter to say the video has been put back up, but I'm pretty sure this is the one. If I'm mistaken, please let me know someone. I will do more research before I make this video public. Pretty sure this is it. I've watched this entire video. The fact that, that this is what she got and then it was appealed and reviewed, and they still kept the video down, boggles my mind. And again, this is why it doesn't matter if we agree or if we disagree. When you start silencing people, when you start taking their ability away to speak, you have created a huge problem. And this is what I said. First, they're going to come for this person, then they're going to come for that person, then they're going to come for you eventually. They will always come for you. Always. So that's why we don't need to introduce this thought process at all. Yes, there are clear definitive lines that we can create. There are clear definitive lines that we can say is hate speech. Hey, YouTuber, this is the line. You can't cross this definitive line. And if you do cross this definitive line, then you will be penalized. I have no problem with that. The problem is, is the line is not defined. The line is constantly moving. They constantly define hate speech based on whatever individual is reviewing it. And it's bullshit. And I'm sick of it. This girl, I don't agree with her, but I will say I love her approach. I love her sarcasm. I love her attack mode. I respect that. She reminds me a lot of Jesse Milestone in that aspect. And you know that I don't really care about people if they disagree with me or agree with me or whatever. I'm a style person. I like her style. I don't necessarily love her substance, but I love her style. And this is the type of person that I would I would love to make a video for Geeks and Gamers. I'm not throwing that out there. She is far bigger than my channel and probably far bigger than I'll ever be. But the point is, is I don't care that she disagrees. I don't care that she's an anti-SJW. I don't care that she uses people that I'm a fan of in her videos like The Amazing Lucas and One Angry Gamer. This is bigger than that. This is about stop controlling what people effing say. I'm sick and I'm tired of this. And this is, again, this is Carlos Maza's YouTube. This is the YouTube you want, Carlos Maza. So now you have a video that is speaking out against 
a gay agenda that a lot of YouTubers have been talking about, which I'm, I've, I didn't, I don't think I covered the Arthur topic because when that topic was sent to me, I watched it, I reviewed it, at least for my personal, uh, you know, just looking into it. And I, I don't know anything about Arthur. And so I just didn't feel passionate enough to talk about it. Uh, so I, I don't believe I ever really covered it publicly. I think I privately looked into it and I was like, you know what? Like maybe I was asked about it in a live stream or something, but I didn't make a full video on it because I didn't have enough passion about the, the source material and I just didn't do it. But the point is now she's making a video battling that narrative, which is her right and she should be able to do that. Yet YouTube is taking her video down because of hate speech. There's no hate speech in her video. There's nothing that can even be remotely close to described as hate speech. She is giving a substance response and she's giving her opinion on it. Uh, this blows my mind. And this is the type of crap that I keep saying. Alex Jones should not be censored. Now, if Alex Jones, again, there are things that he's been accused of, and I'm no Alex Jones fan, except for the memes, but th there are certain things that maybe Alex Jones has said that were way over the line, but I would like to see that that's the definitive reason he was removed, if that's the case, but that's not the case. Um, you know, there's other people that have been removed for some silly, crazy things, and I'm tired of it. I want people to be able to speak their minds. I want people to have their opinions. I don't want them to be scared to share those opinions. And the more we see this line moving, the more dangerous it is for every single person. Every single person needs to be worried about this. This is craziness. And I'm tired of it. Stop being so scared of opinions. Stop being so scared of somebody that disagrees with you. That is what it's all about conversations, and dialogue. Now, again, I'm going to say it one more time. I don't agree with what she says, but it doesn't make me angry at all because her sub or her style is amazing um, and her sarcasm is on point and I love it. And she's taking jabs at what she sees and what she doesn't like and I have nothing but respect for that. I was so prepared to watch this video and just rip this chick apart and I can't because I like, I like how she goes about it. And I appreciate it. And I respect it. And I think we need more people uh, to do exactly what she did, which is speak your mind and not worry about the consequences. Unfortunately, YouTube creates this problem where we all have to worry about the consequences because YouTube keeps moving the line. Carlos Maza's YouTube right there. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.